Nate, you want some candy corn? Oh, I, I'm, I'm set, thanks. Oh, okay. In today's video, we're taking a look at candy corn and we're gonna see if we can recreate it on a much larger scale. Candy corn, at least in America, they are extremely popular in fall around Halloween time. Uh, <laughs> the idea is that they look like sort of oversized corn kernels. Like I was saying, very common candy. I've seen these every year for my entire life. They're not terribly complicated. Their main flavoring is vanilla and it says here made with real honey. They have a honey flavor to them. I didn't so, know that until you pointed it out. I had zero idea that like there was any honey. It. But now that I'm eating them, I taste the yeah. honey. If you eat it and think like, oh yeah, honey. And it, it mm -hmm. does come through as a flavor. So today we are going to try to make our own candy corn, but bigger. Here's the basic idea. Today we're going to try to replicate a classic Halloween treat on a giant scale. How big of a candy corn can we make? So we're gonna try and use a traffic <laughs> cone as the mold for our candy corn. It's about the right How taper gonna... ratio. Oh, a piece of foil or okay. tape or something. That seems like it'll work. Or it might not even ooze out the whole, I mean, the, the recipe makes kind of like a dough and it's not very runny. So like a model magic type of yeah, kind of Yeah, it's, it's kind of like a cool. clay texture. So uh, it's a pretty simple recipe. We're gonna start by putting some sugar, some butter and some corn syrup and to get that authentic honey taste, some honey into a pot on the stove. We're gonna mix it all up and cook it to 245 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> two thirds cup butter and one cup of sugar. I'm doing a double recipe. Originally it's two thirds cups corn syrup but it didn't have honey in it and I changed the recipe so it does have honey in it. So it's gonna be one third cup corn syrup and one third cup honey, although we're doubling it so it's two thirds of both. Five cups of powdered sugar. Let's see. So this is gonna heat up, melt all the butter. We'll stir it until it's all evenly mixed up. We'll add our candy thermometer and take it up to 245 degrees Fahrenheit. I did some testing. 240, it's too liquid. 250, it's like hard. So gotta be pretty particular with where I take it off. Yeah, I just pulled this off the heat at 245 and now I'm adding our two teaspoons of vanilla. Ooh, it does not like that. Two teaspoons of vanilla. All of the alcohol in the vanilla just boils away. And I'll give that just a minute to cool down a little bit. And then I will add this into the dry ingredients that Grace mixed up. And then while I'm letting it cool down, I'm going to make a new batch of the dry ingredients. Grace can use it for hers. This smells so good. It smells like straight sugar in here and I love it. Sugar and butter. <laughs> All right, 245, off the heat. Add in two teaspoons of vanilla. Two teaspoons of vanilla. Well, it should approximately taste like candy corn. So whether or not it's delicious depends on if you like candy corn. <laughs> now, I did not find any food grade traffic cones. <laughs> so weird. But we're just gonna wash this one off really well and hope that it works. So this is food grade titanium dioxide. Titanium dioxide is sort of the main white coloring used in everything. Uh, in house paint, toothpaste, food, whatever needs to be dyed white. Hmm. It's pretty much done with titanium dioxide. I'm not gonna do a ton, that's probably good. It's not gonna turn it completely perfectly white, but that's okay because- Our candy corn's not. It's not perfectly. It's kind of a translucent off-white. <laughs> so it's not a huge color change, but you can see it next to the one that doesn't have any of the titanium dioxide in it, and it's obviously changed. I feel like it it's looks the... exactly like bread dough. It really does. Like including all the little pock marks in it and stuff, it's just very, very similar in look to bread dough, except it's hot and will not ever turn into bread. Okay, well, try and sort of Do ooze that down help? to the bottom. And let's see on ratio. Take off a little bit of this. I think we had some extra there. All right, let's add some orange. Color of that orange is a little yellower, so I'm actually adding a couple red dots as well. Very nice. It's like a burrito of food coloring. How is our color looking? Oh, definitely oh. need darker. 
Do you want some red and orange? Uh, I want, yep. I want probably equal parts orange and red. I am just gonna take a little bit here, put it there as a color match because I don't think this is gonna be enough for all of the orange. So I think we are gonna need more in that next batch. Nate, what's your favorite Halloween costume that you ever wore? I've done a lot that I really enjoyed. I'll go with Iron Man. It's hard to beat. <laughs> okay, here's our yellow, our corn cap. Just throw that on the back there. Oh, yes. Nice! All right, so we had our uh, traffic cone full of candy corn, uh, and I, I took a, it's got a little bit of chocolate on it from the freezer. Our round candy corn wasn't the right shape, so what we did is uh, took a board and put it up against the wall and then put some heavy weights so it just like stayed smushed. However, Shmush. after staying smushed, as Grace says, overnight, <laughs> it did start to stick to the vinyl a little bit. Hmm. Uh, so I don't know how well it's gonna come out of this cone. I think we're gonna have to cut it out and I actually put it in the freezer for a few minutes to try and like cool it down, maybe make it stick a little less. So like we'll I said, see what I'm happens. gonna try cutting it out. For so much of the time, it seemed like it was just not sticking at all and I was excited about that. I was thinking we can maybe just like sort of mm -hmm. shake it out, but being squished against it was too much for it. <laughs> oh, Look that. at that! That is a beautiful. Has a little chocolate on it. I am quite happy. Look at that. That is a great giant candy corn. You know, I'm, we actually I'm have impressed. more on the white than we need. We could, I agree. We could, we could trim could that a little bit. Chop it. Well, I think that this is definitely the largest candy corn I've ever seen. Probably, definitely. Definitely a success. I am quite happy with the result of this. Uh, how long do you think it would take you to eat this? Oh, I think it would take me like a good, a good hour. Two, maybe. I think maybe I would minutes, be like, dead after about that much of it. That's that, yeah. that's so much sugar it's dough. So much sugar. <laughs> after seeing as much how much sugar we poured into this thing, like there's no shot. Like maybe you and your friends could like tackle it, but besides that, project. Yeah. Like put on a good movie and tackle it. Oh, perfect. Guys, dinner's ready. Yay! <sighs> Oh no. It's fine, it's fine. Make sure to get some salad Thank you. as well. Oh, okay, yes. This is a very balanced meal. Beautiful. Would you like some salad? Yes, yeah. Give me two scoops. Two. Perfect. You carved our candy corn very well. Was well, it good, Cap? Guys, that is it for today, but we've always got new great stuff for you to see. Go ahead and hit that button down there, subscribe to the channel so you never miss a great video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then. Cheers.